Okay, today you're going to be doing a brochure in Microsoft Publisher. If you will, please open Publisher by going to the icon on your desktop. <coughs> and you'll notice across here there are the different popular publication types that you can make, uh, if you will, choose brochures. And the one we want to do is an event brochure. So if you will, scroll down. <clears throat> and you'll see across here event. Um, you can choose one of these. I'll choose this one, the first one. Double click and it will open it. The first thing you want to do is make this bigger by going up here and click the plus until you get a hundred percent. Right in the middle, the first thing we're going to do is change the organization to your company name. Mine is going to be Keep America Beautiful Incorporated. Scroll down. I'm again going to put my business name there, Keep America Beautiful Incorporated. And then I want to put my uh, business address. I'll just highlight and delete all that and I'm going to make my business address the school address 2401 South Railroad Street Phoenix City Alabama 36867 I'm going to leave, leave these phone numbers and email the same as they are I want to do something with this logo right here you remember you copied a picture for your logo if you will write Let's see, if I click on it, don't right click, just left click on it and then go up here, you'll get a picture box. Go up here to insert picture. Go find the picture that you want to insert. I'm going to choose this one right here. I click insert and it inserts it for my logo. All right, the next thing I want to do is come over to the left and I'm going to close this picture box so that I can work on this side. This is my back panel heading, and this is where I provide a description of my event that I'm going to have. I'm going to call it Picnic in the Park, and then I need to put some information about it, such as the date, time, location, fee, um, and whether or not there's registration required. So I'm going to say join the Keep America Beautiful Company for a picnic in the park to be held on November 12, 2008 at Idle Hour Park in Phoenix City, Alabama. The fun begins at 11 a.m. Purchase your chicken basket for $10 per person. Proceeds will go to the Keep America Beautiful campaign. All right, and then I'm going to have speakers at my event, so I want to just put, highlight and put their names. I'm making mine up. You can use a classmate or someone you know. I'm using Nature Names, Flora Fields, who is going to give ideas for landscaping your backyard. And then I would put two more. I'm, uh, I won't do that now, but I was going to use Dustin Grimes, tells how we can prevent litter and keep our neighborhoods clean, and Pansy Green reveals her secrets for growing annuals. So you fill those in with made-up names or classmates' names. Then you're going to come over to the right-hand side, and this filled it in for me, Keep America Beautiful Incorporated. Uh, my event title is Picnic in the Park, and for a subtitle, I'm just going to put Help Support Our Cities Beautification Effort. 
you go down to the bottom, you put a date, and I think I said 11, 12, 08, a time, 11 o'clock a.m., and describe your location. Mine's at Idle Park, so I'm just going to put airport road just off Somerville Road. All right. Now I'm finished with that part. I want to go to page two. I click down here on page two. And on page two. Attention, please. The following buses are now on campus. Route 13. Route. Sorry about that interruption. Um, on the uh, page two, the main inside heading, I want you there to highlight that and entitle that, Why Should You Care? And then highlight all this information right here, delete it, and type Why You Should Care. You can get that from your research, from your PowerPoint that you did. You can if you want to change that picture, you click on it, insert picture right there, get yourself another picture, put it there just like you did the other one. Come across here, the inside heading, um, I want you to put your five facts and you can just say uh, facts about whatever your topic is. Then you highlight, delete, put your facts. There, you can double click, get yourself another picture, insert it, and you come over to this side. Make sure that it has inserted your, um, your company name, your address, your phone number, and all of that, and you'll be finished with your brochure.